Hey, what's up? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use SMS for Klaviyo and Shopify. So, let's get right into it. First of all, you have to enable SMS in Klaviyo. To do it, you have to click on your store name, then go to settings. And from there, you'll have to click on SMS and just simply enable it. I'm just gonna walk you through the entire process. So, here it is. Set up SMS for free. You just click on that. Then you choose your country. So, if you're outside of any of these countries, unfortunately, you won't be able to use it. But let's assume you're from the US. You would just select it, then press next. Um, then you just fill out this data and press next. So you have to fill out your company number. Once it's filled out, it'll redirect you to this website where your phone number will be redirected, um, sorry, verified, and then you'll have to choose your company name. So this is my demo store, but in your case, you would just type in uh, brand name. Um, and yeah, that's it. You just press on next, um, and then you can obviously send a preview or whatever, but you don't have to do it. I, as you saw, it's optional. And then um, there are some steps that Clave suggests on how you can get started with SMS, how to use a sign up form, how to subscribe at checkout, and how to upload uh, SMS list. So I'm gonna show you each of these steps uh, one by one without clicking on any of these buttons. I just wanna show you firstly the settings for SMS. So obviously uh, the phone numbers, as I said before, they are being verified. And then here's some additional information about SMS. So um, if you have a different you know, data than from Shopify, probably you need to change it uh, and play with that. You can also upload your logo and here's the or your company prefix. So it's it's gonna be before uh, like pre each message. Uh, as name suggests, it's prefix. You can change that anytime you want to. It's also like uh, opt-out language, so you must include a subscribe message so people can opt out anytime they want. By default, it just takes stop to opt out, but of course you can change it any um, to any way you want to. For example, unsubscribe to unsubscribe. Then we have sending preferences. So here's the sending period, um, also called a uh, smart sending. So whenever someone receives the SMS today, if you don't want to send them other SMS within 24 hours, you can change it. By default, it's 24 hours. You can change it, let's say 16 or whatever. But I think 24 by default is very good and very healthy. Then you have quiet hours. So here are the guidelines for each country. Uh, make sure they are aligned with you know anything that it's right there because you want to have quiet time, so you're not being penalized with any fees or whatever. Then you have attribution, which is also quite important. So purchases uh, within the last click in the last 24 hours for SMS. I think it's very very. Um, very very good actually. Attentive has like 60 or 30 days attribution window, so 24 hours for Clef is definitely good. Your your sales are not being over attributed by you know someone that clicked your text message like two weeks ago. Just anyone that clicked the SMS within 24 hours, very good, very healthy. You can leave it like that. You can also change it if you want to. Here are some uh, automations that probably you won't ever use. To be fair, um, like there's a bunch of stuff that's not that important, so. Uh, you can just skip it. Uh, to be honest, I never play with that. Just these three tabs are the most important ones. So yeah, once you have that, uh, one thing you can do is just go to Shopify and enable SMS at checkout. So you go to your Shopify store, you select uh, settings, then checkout. You scroll down a little bit uh, and you turn on SMS. You can also select pre-select for email. I suggest you do it. Uh, it's my demo store, that's why I didn't have it. But overall, you want to have it uh, pre-selected. And once you do it, you just hit save. And that's it. That's how you enable SMS in Shopify. Uh, people can you can now start collecting phone numbers at checkout, which is very good, very convenient. Um, now inside the Clavier, so actually, if you would like to upload SMS subscribers, you would go to Audience, List, and Segments, and you have SMS subscribers, just like that. Um, and obviously, upload them. I don't have any SMS list because again, it's my demo account, but that's how you would do it. Another thing you can remember, you have to remember about is double check if the integration with Shopify for SMS is correct. So once you do, we just go to here, um, integration, then Shopify, um, and then you just sync this, right? Like return on the setting in the Shopify. So right now we actually have to sync the subscribers into the list. That's why you select the list. And once you do it, you hit update settings um, and all the data will be updated. So yeah, um, we covered how to collect phone numbers but at checkout, how to upload the list, now it's time to actually show you how to do it using sign up form. So in terms of sign up forms, there are two ways to do it, depending on whether you're collecting email addresses or not. Because if you are already previously collecting email addresses, what you can do is create additional pop up 
only for existing profiles and ask people only for, for a phone number. But if you want to collect the email and SMS, you can have a two-step pop-up, as you can see, it's pre-made right there. Um, you can just click it, uh, you know, name it or whatever you want to, uh, just choose a list, so it's gonna be newsletter, SMS subscribers, um, and then you create a form. From there, you can customize the, the sign-up form however you want to, you can change anything pretty much. Um, again, this, this created with Klaviyo watermark is here because it's my demo store but yeah other than you can play with steps uh, however you want to change anything you, you have you want to as well um, usually I suggest that you have this you know long information beneath any buttons beneath tags because it's just really not a good idea to have it here in the middle of the uh, of the sign up form because it's gonna get the most attention when it's not recommended so yeah uh, just have a two step pop up and you will start collecting phone numbers like that um, another thing you can do is, as I said before, have a pop-up only for existing profiles. So what you would do is hit create signup form, um, and in this case it would be only um, only for phone numbers. So you can select collect phone numbers, uh, and in this case you can want to get a pop-up. So uh, yeah, it would be this. One. For example, uh, you don't have to follow the exact one I chose. It's just for the sake of the example. I want to show you how to do the targeting for those people. So yeah, uh, once you have it, you just go to targeting and behavior. Obviously, you play with display timing and whatnot. But what you want to do is target visitors in a list or segment. So then uh, you just sh show it to visitors in certain list. For example, newsletter. So you would select newsletter list, and this pop-up would be displayed only to people who are already on your email list. This way, you're collecting both emails and phone numbers, but to be honest, I would suggest you have one pop-up for both email and SMS. Uh, I would suggest using this one only if you were using email only previously and now you want to introduce SMS as well. So that's how you collect phone numbers. Now how to use SMS in flows and campaigns. So you will just go about it as a regular flow. So you go to flows, create flow. You can we'll always select any, any flow that I want to for the sake of the example. Um, obviously you can also play with that like only SMS or only email, but what I like to do is have both email and SMS in one um, in one flow. So yeah, uh, you can select this option and then just let's select now uh, abandoned card, which actually is abandoned checkout, but uh, that's a different topic. You can watch my other video if you want to know how to set up abandoned card flow so that you have both abandoned card and checkouts being recovered, making more sales. So you just create this flow, um, and as you can see, like if you would like to add more text messages, you would just drag it here. Uh, just make sure you are being compliant because with abandoned cards and checkout, you can't send too many. There are limits, so make sure you follow them because you don't want to get in a lawsuit or whatever. So yeah, uh, now that we have these SMS, there are a bunch of settings. So you can edit the message. Um, you can turn on smart sending, which I suggest you do, but not in the most important flows. For welcome flow, abandoned cards and checkout, I would always turn it off. Uh, you can turn on UTM tracking if you want to. Quiet hours, I suggest you do it. Um, this conditional split is very useful because then only people who are incentivized to be uh, consented to get SMS will be getting it. But I would still send them this email. So what you could do um, is hope I like additional time delay for this uh, for this path. So let's say one hour after someone received SMS, we would send them the same email. Uh, that's the practice I follow, and I think it works quite well. Because you don't want to be sending them less emails, I just want to send them more text messages if you can. Then if you want to edit SMS, you just hit on edit. And it's very straightforward, just similarly to email, but yeah. Um, as you can see, here's the content of the message. Uh, brand name, obviously if you have a different brand name, it will display as your brand's name. You can also insert properties, same like with an email. You have this option checked on. So links are automatically going to be shortened, which is something you want to because as you can see here, here are credits. So how many credits it will be spent for what each message. Uh, if we made this message longer, then we would use more credits uh, and ultimately pay more to send those text messages. That's why you want to automatically short the links. And one small tip, uh, in some cases, your brand name may um, have like a different, different sign. For example, I have a client that has like, um, a e with like sign above it uh so for example it would be uh just like that 
and as you can see the number is going to drastically change uh, it's right now the we have only like one letter more but it's sending two text messages and using two credit instead of one so if you have a brand name uh, for example which would look like that right just an example um, I would what I would do is turn off organization prefix and then for the for the um, brand name I will just change the special letter and character into the regular one so then uh, it's, it's actually taking one credit instead of two uh, it may it may seem like a simple thing but if you're sending a lot of text messages on a really high scale high volume for emails and campaigns it's gonna save you a ton of uh, a ton of credits a ton of money that normally you would need to pay for those credits so yeah uh, but if you don't have this special character in your number then you can turn on organization prefix um, then you have also content, so on subscribe links and whatnot, you have to have them. Uh, for company information, it says that it's missing, but it's only because it's my demo store, that's the main reason. And yeah, once you have the text message, you can also insert media, so add GIFs uh, or MMS and try to play with that. Um, just like you would go, you would do, you would do with email. Yeah, uh, you can also send a preview, obviously it's my demo store, so I can't do it, but overall you could. Uh, if you want to create A-B test, you just hit create A-B test. And it's gonna create a different variation of the uh, of the text message and if you wanted to edit that um, you can also play with it so you will just hit edit message and for example you, you I don't know add a discount code so uh, use use uh, I can type uh, use code card for 15 uh, percent off Right, just an example, and then if you have like two different variations, you hit, you hit save and exit. And then you'll need to publish the actual A-B test, just like with email, it's very similar, very straightforward, uh, same goes for the setting, so we don't want automatically uh, choose distribution, I recommend to turn it off, uh, same goes for end by the statistical significance, save settings, and then you publish a test. Right, so this is how you set up SMS for flows. For campaigns, it's pretty much the same thing, um, with the only difference that you have segments and lists and targeting and whatnot, but the actual creation of the SMS is very similar. So we go to campaigns, create campaign, uh, we're gonna do SMS, campaign name, test campaign, then let's say we're gonna send it on Wednesday, uh, you can add tags if you want, but if not, just hit save and continue. And from there, you're gonna choose segments. So uh, obviously, you want to send only to people who are consented to receive SMS. So you will choose your SMS uh, subscriber list. Obviously, if you have other segments like people who clicked, non buyers, uh, existing customers, VIPs, and so on, you can edit that as well. Um, I like to turn on smart sending for SMS campaigns just to make sure that people are not being blasted with those messages because SMS is way more exclusive than email. That's why you, you want to keep it this way. And then UTM tracking, if you want to, obviously, you can turn it on as well. Then once you have these settings done, you just continue to content um, and it's just like with the flow. So by default, you have this opt-out text plus brand name uh, and then you have some sort of content. It, the creation of the actual content of the SMS is exactly the same as for the flows. Same for properties, um, inserting images, uh, GIFs or whatever, and then settings just like that as well. Once you have the content, uh, I don't suggest sending text messages like that unless it's like some hidden message. But overall, I wouldn't suggest you do it. You can also change previews for Canada or for the US. Uh, once you know everything is on point, then you just hit save and continue to review. And that's pretty much it. You can then schedule your uh, SMS campaign. Uh, obviously, it's gonna show a bunch of errors because again, it's a demo store. Uh, but overall, if you'll have a recipient, you'll just need to schedule and or hit schedule or send. Choose the send time and that's it. And that's it for this video. This is exactly how you get anywhere between 5 to 15% more revenue for your e-commerce store using SMS. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, check out my other videos, and that's it. Thanks for watching, have a great day, bye.